I've got the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra right here. And ever since we unlocked the bootloader and installed Majisk, every time we try to pass safety net, we are getting the failed attestation results due to the Galaxy S21 series using hardware-based key attestation. And today I'm going to show you how to bypass the hardware version of this and actually pass a safety net test for any Samsung Galaxy S21 series smartphone that is currently rooted. Now bypassing safety net is a cat and mouse game. So you got to understand that at some point this video likely will no longer work. If it does not work for you, let me know in the comments below as there may be just a simple fix to, again, overcome the latest cat and mouse changes that either Google or Samsung has put into place. But for now, we're going to use a Majisk module from a developer named KDragon. I'll be linking to their GitHub page in the video description. But to begin, we're actually going to need to download a beta, a version 2.0 beta test of that specific Majisk module. And I'll be linking to that in the video description as well. Once you have downloaded that zip file, we then need to open up the Majisk application. You should see a floating window down here at the bottom. And at the far right is a puzzle piece. That's for our Majisk modules that we can install. But we're going to tap the install from local button at the top and then browse to and select the version safety net, the version two of the safety net fix. You can see it's very quick to install. It does not take much time at all. Once that's done, you should see a blue reboot button at the bottom and we're just gonna tap on that blue button to force the Galaxy S21 to restart. So you can see no conflicts there. Not only did it install and reboot, we can go back into the Majisk uh, application, tap on that puzzle piece again, and we should see that universal safety net fix module at the top in the installed section, as well as this toggle indicating that it is enabled. Now when we go back into the main screen, the first page of Majisk, you can go ahead and check safety net. And we are still passing as predicted. However, if we look at the bottom, we can now see that the type of check that we're doing has changed from the hardware backed to the basic. Now going back to the GitHub page, we can see that Majisk hide is required if the device is rooted. And our device is currently rooted, so we're going to go into Majisk. We're going to tap the gear icon at the top right. 
and you're just going to scroll down a little bit until you see the Majisk Hide toggle. And then we're going to tap that toggle on to enable Majisk Hide. And with that done, we can simply go back to the main Majisk screen, tap on the safety net check button, and you can see that we are now passing safety net checks with that module forcing the check type from hardware to basic on the Samsung Galaxy S21. And then with the addition of Majisk Hide, we're now able to uh, successfully bypass those safety net checks. Before we end the video, I want to point out that some people may have noted whenever I named this file, this Majisk module, I said it was a beta. And it is indeed a beta. There are a number of bugs that are currently known and people are currently experiencing on certain devices with certain ROMs. You can see here KDragon talking about one of these big bugs right now, specifically pointing out Samsung One UI. And due to this issue, some people are noticing some random things. I know before version two was released, people were having difficulty using their fingerprint for authentication into certain apps like PayPal. Even though PayPal didn't actually do any safety net checks, installing this module changes things in the firmware framework that is actually breaking other parts of the ROM. Now whether that affects you and how you actually use your phone, that's anyone's guess. A lot of people, a lot of Samsung users are using this version 2 right now because they desperately need to pass safety net checks to use, say, other bank apps. And they're willing to put up with some random bugs with certain things. Other bugs may be impacting users in a more uh, severe way. So th again, you may or may not run across any issues using this Majisk module. However, I do think that it is pretty risk-free to try it because even if you do run across any issues, all you need to do is go back into Majisk. Again, tap on that puzzle icon at the bottom right and then remove the Majisk module. After you remove it, it will tell you that you need to reboot the phone again, just like whenever we installed it. And once we reboot the phone, any bugs that you experience while this was installed should be gone. Like that is the magic of Majisk. These are systemless changes that we're doing. So I'm going to be using this change for a couple days and see if I notice any type of issues. I know immediately after I installed this, I was having trouble sharing a screenshot, but a simple reboot fixed the issue. But again, I'm going to be using this as much as possible over the next few days to try to collect up as many widespread bugs that we're aware of. If you notice anything, again, leave a comment below. Let everybody else that's watching this video know the experiences you're having. But there you have it. I know this is a video a lot of people have been requesting and waiting on. And you can see with the warning of bugs why I was hesitant to put this out. But as you can see right now, we have a way of bypassing safety net checks on the Samsung Galaxy S21, the Galaxy S21 Plus, and the Galaxy S21 Ultra. And this is likely going to work for the S21 FE edition that's going to be released in the near future as well, since they all use the same, the similar One UI firmware.